Hey guys, Jerry here from 3DHP. Frozen just sent me out some new resin. They're coming out with Amazon in a couple weeks. But by the time you see this video, it might already be released, but it's called Onyx Pro 410 Rigid. 2.2 pound, one kilogram, sealed up in a bag. So it's Onyx, so I believe it's black. If you're gonna print any rigid objects. Oh, it's a nice, okay, it's a dark uh, reddish brown bottle. Shake gently before use. And today we're going to print a holder for my Vive. And we're going to print the mount on the Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K. And I've got my resin lapse camera uh, cord hooked up. I went ahead and took the bottom off. I laid it right up on the light array. And I had it taped off on the bottom. So this time it should time lapse it perfectly. And if you can see what I'm doing here, let's go ahead and pour it in. It appears to be very black. And yeah, it's very, very black. So let's get this print started and we'll be right back. I got you pouring it in there. Yep, very, very black. Looks like tar. It's very the ground come a bubbling crew. Oh, and that is black gold, Texas tea. Very, very dark. And it's made in the USA. Here. Take a look at the bottle there. Heinkel Corporation, Rocky Hill, Cincinnati. Made in the USA. It says Frozen Times Loctite. And we'll check them out over here on Amazon while this print's going. But yeah, I hope we get a great print out of this. So let's get started. Hey guys, if you're wondering what happened with my time lapse, I've had nothing but problems. I thought it was an optical cord where it goes into the uh, printer and the UV light activating it. And then I was having trouble with the power strip that I bought for it, the power brick. The one I bought off Amazon was like 13 bucks, didn't have a light on it. And after a p so many pictures at each uh, layer height, the camera would just quit working and I couldn't figure out why. I'd turn it on, I'd turn it off. And nothing seemed to work, so I uh, unplugged the power brick right in the middle, plugged it back in, the, cow the camera activated, and it kept going. So I got on Amazon, I ordered a better quality power brick. Once I got that, it seems like it's resolved the problem. So hopefully, not really sure why the camera is all of a sudden just turning off. It seems like in some prints it works fine, and in some other prints it don't. And the uh, time lapse you've seen was multiple failures and a good couple good prints, kind of you know, slammed together there because a lot of, I lost a lot of footage there. But, yeah, it's a little bit of something to watch, so what the hell, right? And what I, I wanted to do originally was print a Vive holder, and uh, the file was too big for my resin printer to lay it U-shaped like this, so I turned it up on end and had it directly on the build service, and I wound up failing, so I moved on. I didn't print the holder in resin. I'll end up to do that on my FDM printer. And I went over on a Thingiverse, I found this little holder here. This is all black onyx out of that resin. It's printed solid, obviously. And uh, it's a little holder to put all kinds of tools and stuff in. It's got little, you know, paint brushes or, you know, nuts and bolts and screws, you know, whatever. Well, not, you know, tools, basically, not nuts and bolts. But I printed this out. It came out real good. It's got a little stain on the bottom here. And uh, there's a few places that are kind of shiny where I probably didn't clean off the resin quite good enough. I cleaned it in alcohol really good, and I went over with my hands. I didn't use it. I mean, didn't use a toothbrush on it this time, but that came out pretty good, and I cured it out in the sun. So that's a nice little holder. And then also on Thingiverse, I found this little utility rack. And uh, I'll show you some pictures here at the end where I'd sliced it when we get done here, but 
this is very flexible. Um, the resin is coming out on Amazon in a couple weeks. There was an ad for it a couple days ago talking about it coming, going to be available soon. I just went and looked. I can't find the ad, so I don't know what's going on. But it's supposed to be released in a couple weeks. It's made The resin's made here in the U.S., and it's between uh, like $65 and $70 for a bottle like this. And it says it's made in the USA. Maybe that's why it's so expensive. It's made in the USA. I don't know. But to me, it's expensive. You know, I live on a budget, and 65 to 70 dollars is expensive but it is uh, flexible and it's supposed to be made for making all kinds of brackets and hangers like you see in their promo video but i got this here and then i printed out a bunch of these legs these little feet and i had some failures on them so i had to reprint them a couple times and it takes a total of five and then i went and got a piece of white foam board and i cut a little square piece of foam board out because that will go on the bottom basically the rack will mount like this and have the you know, paint. Anyway, let's put it together. Instead of just talking about it, let's just do it. So, see how this thing snaps together here roughly. That goes there. Put one over here somewhere. But yeah, the, the parts seem to be flexible. I'm not gonna. I don't have any extra ones, but I'd see if I could break one in two. See how much it took to snap it, but they are flexible, rubberized, kind of like. They're not brittle. And uh, the resin is very black. I mean, black, black, black. And then it has one more support, which would go in the backpack here. But let's clip it on this foam board here, see how this goes. I've seen a picture on Thingiverse, and they appeared to have this on foam board pressed in below it, but I guess foam board, cardboard, whatever you can find that can kind of fit it together. And then one would go in the back here for support, which would be back here. And yes, it did break on me. Um, evidently, I lost some supports, and you can see you know, right there, there's a, it just broke, a piece missing there, but it, it'll still work, you know. It's a cool little rack, and I can put all kinds of paintbrushes and stuff in it, so it was a functional print, because I print, print so damn many models, I figured I'd try something different, so yeah, it came out pretty good, and uh, you know, if I wanted to lay this down, actually, on my resin bed to print, it would have been great, and wouldn't have taken very long, but it was a little bit too big for the Frozen Mighty 4K, so I had to turn it upright. I kind of went diagonal with it at a slight angle and printed it like that. But I'll show you the pictures here in a minute. But yeah, that came out good for a functional print. And then uh, this came out really good for a functional print. And it's very black. It's uh, definitely rigid. It has very low odor. That's why I smelled it earlier. I can smell it with like with most resin, but it wasn't a real bad odor. So, But yeah, it printed nice. And when Frozen contacted me, they said, would you like to try this new resin? They didn't ask me to do a video on it. I just figured, you know what the hell, I like doing videos, making contents for all you guys. And uh, so I did. So that's kind of why the, where the video came from. But I'll show you some more pictures of it here. And uh, please like, subscribe, and share the video. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, thank you very much, and happy resin printing.